Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. In keeping with our theme, strength to me is knowing who you are and what you bring to your team. And what I mean by team, it could be a family, it could be a church, it could be a community, or it could be an athletic team. If you could, close your eyes for a second. Just imagine for a quick second the most beautiful picture that you can imagine. Just imagine. And open your eyes. Now imagine that picture as a puzzle. It's a picture with multiple pieces. Now imagine right smack in the middle of the puzzle, a piece is missing. Now as beautiful as that picture is, it wouldn't be complete without that one little missing piece. And that one little missing piece goes in that one spot. Why do I say that? I think in this life, with all the problems we face, if each of us would just tie into what I call our lane, or what we're responsible for as it ties into the whole, we could solve a lot of problems in the world. February 25th is my birthday. February 25th of 2005, I was blessed to be asked to open up a youth program down in Kendall, South Miami. I was there for a whole week, all day long, setting it up, getting my staff in place, doing my own training. And the most important training that I did with my staff was that, know your, know your piece to the whole. You might be a cook here, but we're working with juvenile delinquents. You have to understand the youth and do what you can to help the youth. After the program was set up, I did the next best thing. I took a day off. <laughs> and I wanted to be left alone because I was tired. I got a call at 6.30 that day, that 6.30 a.m. It was the cook from the kitchen. She says, Mr. Nelson, I'm sorry to call you so early. I said, well, if you were sorry, where, where are you calling me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude. They, you know, they know me. And I said, uh, her name was Vicky Boop. I said, like, Vicky, it's my day off. I'm trying to relax. She was like, I know what we have. I'm going to call his name. This is not his actual name. It's a, a fictitious name. Stanley only took two sausages today. And that, that was my response. He's your girl quiet. That's how I was. <laughs> you called me at 6.30 because Stanley took two sausages? Yeah, he normally takes six. I'm still not getting it. Okay, why are you calling me? Because he's like, Mr. Nelson, there has to be a problem with Stanley if he's only taken two sausages. And I thought about the training that I did with him. And I was like, wow, she's really holding me accountable for what I said. Now, the campus is only 30, uh, about the uh, less than three minutes away from where I live. So I got up, told my wife, I'll be back, went over to the campus. And she said, there's something wrong with him. He always takes things. I called Stanley in. I was like, Stanley, what's going on, buddy? He was like, nothing much. I was like, you look down today. He was like, I am. I was like, what is it? He said, today is my birthday. And we had it set up where whenever it was their birthday, we would have a birthday cake and a party anyway. I was like, Stanley, are you going to get cake? And he was like, no, I know. He said, I'm still a little bit upset. I was like, why? He says, before I got in trouble with the law, I promised my mother that I would take her to have surf and turf on my birthday. Of course, he couldn't do that now. He was like, so I'm upset because I couldn't keep my word. And the kid was just, he was, do, he was doing so well. So I did the next best thing. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I told the kid, I said, you give me a good day today, and we'll do something for you. You know what he said? Thank you! And he hugged me. And I'm thinking, what in the world am I going to do? <laughs> so he went back out, went to the class. I had video cameras in my office so I could check the classroom. And he was fully engaged. I was like, I cannot set this kid up to fail. So I called in my supervisory team. I was like, we got to do something for this kid, including Miss Lucas, who I told her. I said, you called it. She, she used her role, which to most people was menial. She worked in the kitchen. She served us but she wanted to make sure what she did helped with the rehabilitation of these kids. I was like, Vicki, right on the money, we gotta do something. I was like, what can we do? She said, let's serve them surf and turf on the campus. I was like, wow, that would be great. One thing about Chef Lucas as well, she could take a small budget, go to the dollar store, and come back and you would think it was a, a five-store restaurant. <laughs> I went and everything out of petty cash, I pitched in, and because I went first, everybody else pitched in. She went out back, she got T-bone steak, and a lobster tail. She grilled it. She got the little crystal glasses, I mean crystal bells. When you go to the next part of your meal, she would ring the bell. She set it up. His mother happened to be a cop. 
We called her and told her what we're doing. She came on campus and they had a one-to-one -one dinner. You know what, to make a long story short, we never had one issue out of that kid. He was committed to us for one year. We never had one issue out of that kid. Because the strength that Chef Luca showed impacted the whole campus. And I want to, and the fact that the kid never had an issue after that, it sounds like that would be the best part of this story. You know what the best part is? He graduated Florida State <laughs> <laughs> two years ago. This was a kid who was in high school all of six months. And he started running drugs, but he was smart. And nobody recognized the fact that we can deal with this behavior, but we can't ignore the education. He was very, very smart. Nobody just took time to, to, to work with him the way we did. But if that one person wouldn't have looked that one day and said, wow, I suppose to taking six sausages as he took two, this story could have ended up a completely different way. So may we realize just how important each of us are in our life. And I want to end this with this. This is my pitch on you. You know, you can't spell the word you put off starting with Y-O-U. Think about how, what you can invest in the youth to make them realize that they are part of something bigger and, 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 and special. And may we encourage them to do what they can do. Thank you.